the Lord be God and serve the Lord. Uh, amen, Daddy. I believe it's time people, uh, amen, need to get a made up mind. Uh, amen. Either serve the Lord, uh, amen, or go serve God that you want to serve. Uh, amen. This world, uh, amen, it makes you want to think uh, that we can do anything in any way we want to uh, and go on to heaven. Uh, amen. Jesus said, Come follow me. Uh, amen. Take up your cross. Uh, amen. And follow the Lord. Uh, amen. I'm glad to know. Uh, amen. Amen, there's a right way. Amen, straight's a gate. Amen, narrow's a way. Amen, thank God. Amen, let me tell you something. Amen, Elijah wasn't happy. Amen, down there. Amen, they are serving other gods. He is trying to serve God. Amen, they didn't care any way to do it because they were born into Israel. And they thought they was inherited. Amen, thank God in Jesus at the time. Amen, they thought because. Uh, amen. There's Hebrews dug. Uh, uh, there's entitled. Uh, amen. A lot of people believe because of this or that. Uh, amen. They're entitled. Uh, amen. You need Jesus. Uh, amen. In your heart. Uh, and you need to learn of him. Uh, amen. You need to follow him. Uh, and you need to choose. Uh, amen. Are you going to serve Baal? Uh, are you going to serve the Lord? Uh, are you going to serve the flesh? Uh, amen. Are you going to serve God? Uh, amen. You've got to make a choice. Amen. Hey, man, glad to be here today. Hey, man, I'm glad we can be ready. Hey, man, are you Amen. getting ready? Hey, man, what I do down here, uh, I don't got enough works to save me. Uh, hey, man, but I can cause myself, uh, hey, man, to be turned aside out of the way. Uh, hey, man, Jesus, uh, he said it was a straight way. Uh, it was a narrow way. Uh, hey, man, that led to life. Uh, hey, man, if few there be. Uh, hey, man, that would find it. Uh, hey, man, there'd be all kinds of different religions. Uh, hey, man, in this country today, uh, I believe you can have this one, that, the other. As long as you got one dug, you're all right. I don't believe that. Jesus said, I am the way. Amen. Without me, no man is going to heaven. No man going to see the Father. He narrowed the way down, didn't he? Yes, he did. Amen. Ain't three ways, Daddy. They ain't even two. He's one way to heaven. And that's Jesus' way. Because he said, I am the way. I am the door. That's to the right. sheepfold. Uh, amen. Maybe these singers singing, they preach. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to obey the Lord today. Uh, amen. amen. You need to raise your hands. You need to raise your hands. Uh, amen. amen. If you feel like amen. saying something for the Lord, uh, you need to say something for the Lord. Uh, amen. I thought about we got a choice to make. Uh, amen. We ain't made it yet. Uh, I'm saved by the grace of God. Uh, ain't nothing I can do to get more saved. Uh, amen. But when you get on this road with the Lord, uh, uh, you need to be ready. Uh, uh, Jesus said, let me find you watching. Uh, he said it for yeah. a reason, didn't he? Amen. He said if he should come back, amen, he's going to find faith on the earth. When he come back, amen, he wants to be watching and ready. He said, amen. be ye therefore ready, for you know not. Amen, thank God the air that the Son of Man cometh. Amen, we got to be ready to leave this world. Amen, are you ready today? Amen, are you putting on, amen, a Halloween? mask. Amen. On Sunday and the rest of the week doing something else. Amen. you got to be ready seven days a week. 24 hours a day. Amen. The Lord calls. Amen. Are you ready today? Amen. Amen. If you made that choice, he's mine and I'm here seven days a week, 24-7. If the Lord shall call for you, are you ready? Am I ready today, Doug? Amen. How long Hot you between our opinions. Amen. They wanted to play with their idols. They wanted to serve Baal. And then when trouble hit, they want to run to God day. Amen. You better be in God's house. And you better be serving God. Amen. God catches you out of playing with your idols. And he calls you out of here. Amen. You'll be in trouble today. Amen. You'll be in trouble. Joshua. He said, if it seems good to you, uh, amen, to serve other idols, uh, if you want to serve them idols uh, uh, that your father served Doug uh, uh, on the other side of the flood, uh, and you want to serve the gods of the Ammonites, uh, and you want to do all that, uh, he said, well, uh, uh, but if you'd serve the Lord, uh, uh, then well. Uh, he said, but let me tell you something. Uh, he said, you choose this day uh, uh, which one you're going to serve. Uh, uh, Jesus said, you can't serve God. Uh, and mammon, amen, 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 
you choose right now uh, of this day, uh, of this watered down. Uh, I'll serve this in the day uh, and that in the morrow. Uh, and I'll serve this today uh, and that in the morrow. Uh, he said, choose you this day. Uh, uh, make up your mind. Uh, either be cold or hot. Uh, amen. Either get on the Lord's side uh, or get on the other side. That's right. Amen. Church people Amen. even. I'm not even talking to just the lost people, Daddy. They're lost. Hey, they're already lost. We need to have a made up mind. That's right. Amen. I'll come in here and sing on Sunday. I want to live like God wants me to live on Monday. I want to come Amen. to church on Wednesday night and preach, sing, testify, prophesy. Amen. Play my guitar for God. Amen. I ought to be doing that for God on Wednesday. I ought to be doing it on Thursday. I ought to be living God's way every day. Right. Hey, Amen. I'm getting ready. I want to be ready. Hey, Amen. How you do that? You follow the Lord. Right. Jesus said All one place, way. Why call you me Lord, Lord, and do not the things that I say? There's going to be a lot of people in that day, and he's going to say, Depart from me. I never knew you. They're going to say, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name? Didn't we do mighty great works in your name? Didn't we do this and didn't we do that? And he's going to profess to them, I never knew you. Depart from me. All you that work in equity, depart from me. Into an everlasting punishment, Doug. Hey, man, this ain't no game. I ain't here for no show. Hey, man, I'm going to make heaven my home. Hey, man, I ain't guaranteed another day today. Hey, man, you choose you this day. Hey, man, who you going to serve, amen? You need to get anchored down in your heart. I'm going to serve the Lord. If the wind beats my house, if it blows on my house, amen, if it rains, if it don't rain, hey, financial good, financial bad, amen, friends good, friends are bad, amen, church people love me, church people don't, amen, Jesus is the same, amen, the Bible said in Hebrews about 13 and 8, Jesus Christ the same. Amen. Yesterday. Amen. Today. Amen. And forever. Amen. He don't change. Amen. He's looking for people with a made up mind. I'm going to serve the Lord Amen. until he calls me home. Amen. I thought, Doug, we got people on both sides of the fence and they're straddling it and they don't know which way to go and they're trying to balance church life and, and their friends and other people's life. It's pulling them this way and that way. You got to lay it aside and come follow the Lord. You got to serve the Lord when the devil's beating on you. You got to serve the Lord when you're up on the mountain. You got to go on for God. That's right. Life ain't always easy. That's right. He's got to pray us. We got to press our way, the Bible said, into it. That's right. It's a press. A lot of people believe, well, you said a prayer, you got right, you're good to go. No, you got to press your way, or the devil will press you out. You got to press your way. Amen. You got to uh, take it on the chin, as they say sometimes. Uh, amen. When this old world's a beating on us, I've been there. Uh, and may be there before the day's over. Uh, amen. But I'll tell you one thing. Uh, uh, my heart's still with the Lord. Uh, amen. I trust the Lord uh, uh, with my life. Uh, and if he decides it's the end of it, uh, uh, he's still the Lord, Doug. Uh, he's still good today. Uh, if he calls me home right here right now, uh, he's still the Lord. Uh, and he's still been good to me. Uh, he's been merciful to me. Uh, he been good to my family. He saved my soul. He filled me with a good Holy Ghost. He lets me preach a little here and there. Amen. Though I don't feel worthy. Amen. God's worthy. God's good today. We need to understand the Lord is good and he's our help today. Amen. Joshua said, you choose this day. This yes. day. You get a made up mind and you choose. If you want to serve him, God's over. Go on over and serve him. But quit playing church. Right. Quit playing I love God. Oh, how I love Jesus. Uh, when you love the devil and you love the world. Hey, Amen. Lay aside the weights and serve the Lord. The Lord's good, Doug. Yes, I don't know today. That's on my heart and I'm going to say it. Hey Amen. Get a made up mind and you'll find out you'll find more blessings than you ever found before. Uh, even when you're down in a valley, you'll find God will be the hand that pick you up. Uh, when you look around, you say, I ain't got nobody to help me. Uh, I need somebody. You try to figure it out on your way uh, to get somebody to help you. Uh, if we just lean on the Lord, uh, I believe the Lord helps God. He's help on the way. Uh, I believe Elijah went on down to that little woman's house, Doug, uh, which is gathering them sticks. Uh, no doubt she didn't know where help was coming from. Uh, 
Uh, she thought this is the end. Uh, I'll be together in these sticks. Uh, amen. Me and my son, we're going to make this, uh, and we're going to make these cakes, and we're going to eat and die. Uh, amen. But God uh, had help on the way. Uh, amen. Just hold on. Uh, amen. To the big hand of the Lord. Uh, amen. God's got your help today. Uh, amen. God will give you. He said, I'll supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. Amen. And he's rich in glory. Amen. Amen. Not trying to get ahead of no Bible. I testify a little bit when I feel that stirring, Daddy. Amen. Hey, Amen. Thank God I don't want to be dead when God says, I need you to move. Amen. Amen. He said, raise your hands. Hey, you should raise your hands. If God said, praise me right in front of these people here in the middle of Walmart, amen, you raise your hands and say, praise the Lord. Amen, God wants somebody that you can say, that's mine right there. Amen, when the devil come, amen, and told the Lord, when he was talking about Job, he said, if you considered my servant Job, ain't none like this man, amen, ain't none like him in the land. Amen, one that fear the Lord and eschewed evil. I believe, Doug, no matter where he was, uh, uh, people know uh, uh, that Job loved the Lord. Uh, amen. I believe when people see you and I, uh, uh, no matter where we are, uh, they'll say something different about that one. Amen. Something different about that guy. Something different about that sister, brother. Right. Hey, amen. They must love the Lord. Hey, amen. In the Bible, I believe it said in one place, Doug Ed took counsel to tell men being with Jesus. Amen. Hey, amen. When you get with Jesus, you'll be a little different. Amen. You'll talk a lot different. You'll walk a lot different. You'll act a lot different. You might say, well, I got saved 30 years ago. It don't matter. I'm ready. Hey, amen. Jesus said, follow me. Right. Come follow me. Right. The Bible's got ordinances in there that ain't Old Testament ordinances. That was law and commandments. Mm-hmm. Bridle your tongue, he said, one place. Yeah. Hey, amen. Somebody said, well, I don't believe in religion. Well, he said, that man's religion's vain. That means there must be some religion that's good, Doug. Yeah, hey, amen. Uh, undefiled and before God. Let me tell you something. Hey, man, I'm glad to be saved today. I'm glad to know I'm saved, but that don't exempt me and give me some free ticket to say there's no rules to live by. Uh, there's no nothing to live by now. I just I just do what I want whenever I want, however I want. My ticket's done been punched. I don't believe it that way. I, I believe that you got to follow the Lord. Uh, hey, man, I believe God brought the children of Israel. Uh, hey, man, out, Doug. Uh, hey, man, he brought them out. Uh, hey, man, with a mighty hand. Uh, hey, man, but he brought them out. Uh, uh, what for? To serve him. Amen. To serve the Lord. If you ain't serving the Lord, you ain't pleasing the Lord. Uh, that's awful hard, brother. I'm telling you, if you ain't serving the Lord, then you ain't pleasing the Lord. Uh, amen. Go up and look in the Bible. Uh, in the book of Revelations, what they doing dug up in heaven. Uh, amen. Around the throne. Uh, what are they doing? Uh, are they praising the Lord? Uh, are they serving the Lord? Uh, are they blessing his name? Uh, uh, what did you come here today to do? Uh, uh, what do we go out to do during the week? Uh, amen. To serve Serve the Lord and to praise his name. Amen. To lift him up. Amen. Among the people. His name's tore down by much of people, a lot of people. But God wants us to lift him up. Right. Lift each other up. I'm not here to get ahead of nobody. I'm not here to preach. I'm, I'm just here to obey the Lord. If it be preach, if it be sing, if it be crawl on his floor, that's what I plan on doing. I want to obey the Lord, Doug. Amen. I want to obey the Lord today. I believe God's here today. I felt the Lord. I feel God. I feel good in the Lord, Doug. I'm no good in me. I felt tired and run down this morning. Amen. Didn't feel like getting out of the bed. Didn't feel like coming to church. But the Lord is my strength. Amen. I can sit there and feel sorry for myself. Amen. Or I can use what I got. Amen. For the Lord. Amen. I want to work for the Lord. I want to sing for the Lord. I want to be a light to the world. Amen. Jesus said. Amen. A city set on a hill. Amen. It can't be hid. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Let me tell you something. We're the light of the world, and they're watching you and I. And if we're doing the same thing that the world's doing, amen, our light, amen, it's gone out. Amen, it's under that bushel. Amen, but our light should be shining before everybody. That don't make me special to look at him. You ain't supposed to be prideful to look at me. I'm this and that. You go about and you handle your business in a godly manner. And in a godly way. Hey, man, thank God. I don't know today, but God knows. We need to have a made-up mind. We're either going to serve the Lord or we're wasting our time. 
If you serve him half-hearted today, serve the devil tomorrow, serve God today. I understand people have trials and they may fail today, Lord. They may fail today. They may make a mistake. You get back up. That's not just believing what don't really matter. No, you got to have a broken and a contrite spirit and a heart. And when David fell the Lord, he wept before the Lord with many tears, Doug. Amen. He cried bitterly. And he wept and he is sorry. He is sorry for what he done. We make mistakes. They should be something greater in us than in the world. And it should tell us that we should be sorry for the mistakes we've made. And we should say, no, I'm serving the Lord. I'm going to serve the Lord. He got a made up mind. We shouldn't have to see the things that Elijah did when the fire come down. Do you want to serve the Lord? The Bible said we walk by faith and not by sight. And the Bible also said whatsoever a man soweth, that also shall he reap. No matter what you do in this life, you're going to reap what you sow. Hey, man, I want to follow the Lord, don't you? I want to follow the Lord today. Come on and sing. I just want to testify, Doug. I, I want to be ready. I want to be ready. Be you therefore ready, he said. Be ready. I believe getting saved to get you ready, then you're supposed to walk with the Lord. You're supposed to walk with the Lord once you get saved. I don't believe we just go say a prayer, Doug. We get saved. We never enter another church. We never sing another song. We never witness to nobody lost. We can say, I'm in. That's all right. As long as I'm in, it's okay. No, if you're in, you're supposed to help somebody else in. God gave you one talent. He wants you to go get another one. God gave you five talents. He wants you to go get five more. Huh? Amen. He don't want you to take what he gave you. Huh? Amen. And bury it down in the earth. Huh? Amen. Or hide it somewhere. Huh? When your friends come calling. Huh? And you say, well, I got saved. I don't really feel like I ought to go there. Huh? Amen where I used to go. Amen, you're right. Amen, you just can't go. Amen, do them old things that you used to do. Amen, the Bible said in 2 Corinthians, if any man be in Christ, amen, he's a new creature. Amen, them old things. Amen, they passed away. And behold, all things, amen, have become new. Amen, you just don't do those old things. Amen, you just don't go to them old places. Amen, you just don't sing them old songs. Amen. Come on now. Amen. You just don't live. Amen. Like the world lives. Amen. Anymore. Amen. You lay that stuff aside. Amen. You take off that old coat. Amen. Doug. And you put on that new. Amen. And God. Amen. To reward you. Amen. But if we stay down in the mire and in the muck. Amen. And in the filth of this old world. And expect God to help us. We're fool bad. We fooling our own selves. As James said, we deceived our own selves. Deceived our own hearts. And then come to church and say, I don't know why God ain't doing this and that and the other. Well, we need to look in the mirror, me, you, everybody else. Am I doing my best for the Lord? Am I doing my very best for the Lord? I believe there's room for me to improve. I believe we could try to do just a little more and lay aside off a little more. Serve the Lord a little, a little closer, Doug, and have a made-up mind. The devil's going to come daily, maybe hourly, maybe by the minute, Tammy. Well, you can do this. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. You're a Christian. You can pray about it later. You get that fixed later. Go to church Sunday. Do what you want the rest of the week. You got church Sunday. We can get that right Sunday. You ain't got no promise of Sunday. You ain't got no promise of this evening. I ain't got no promise of tomorrow. You choose today. You choose today who you're going to serve. Who are you going to follow? Are you going to follow the flesh? Are you going to follow God? I could get into that, Doug, and I could tell you all the things God said we should be doing. We should be doing. Not talking about one another. We should love one another more. We should care about one another one more. We should care. We should pray for one another. We should pray without season. We should go here where God wants us to go. He said, come learn of me. What kind of man was Jesus? They sang that song, Ananias. Uh, uh, tell me what kind of man, uh, amen, Jesus was. Uh, amen, let me tell you something. Uh, amen, he healed the sick. Uh, amen, he raised the dead. Uh, amen, let me tell you something. Uh, amen, he lived good. Uh, he was still the son of God. Uh, amen. A lot of people, if they had that today, it's, well, I'm still the son of God. Uh, I can do whatever I want to do. Uh, amen. He wasn't even commanding them stones. Uh, amen. To be made bread when he was hungry, uh, uh, much less go out and sin. Uh, uh, the Bible said he was without sin, uh, and neither was God uh, uh, found in his mouth. Uh, amen. I believe he wants us uh, uh, to follow him. 
Hey, man, you got an idol God somewhere? Hey, man, you may not be on the other side of the flood, as Joshua said, choose you. If you want to serve him, God, serve him. I'd like to just say this, and I'll be quiet. Hey, man, either serve the Lord or go get right until you can serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. I had to struggle with this, and I come back, Doug, and I just to be honest with you, it was hard. The devil's still pulling at me here, and, and God said, no, I need you to do this, and the devil pulling me. Old habits, amen, hard to break until you just get down on before the Lord say, God, I need you. I can't have, there ain't no half in and out with God. We either saved or we lost. It's black or white. There ain't no gray areas with God. You ain't going to be lost. If you're lost today, you're lost right now. You ain't going to be lost when you die. You're lost right now. If you're saved, you're saved right now. If you're on your deathbed or in a hospital and you're saved, you're saved. I don't care how sick you are. You look up, you're still saved. If sickness takes you out of this old world and you've got Jesus, you're still saved. But if you're lost today and you ain't got a care in this world and you've got money, wealth, fame, fortune, and friends, you're lost without Jesus. You're lost without the Lord. Come on and sing. I just wanted to obey the Lord. Hey, Amen. Thank God. We all make mistakes, Doug, and we fail and come short sometime. And we need to get them fixed, and we need to get on the battlefield for the Lord and just keep marching on. We don't need to adopt a lifestyle that says it don't matter. We've got so much stuff in this country. We've got people coming from that country, this country, another country. If they come here legal, God bless them. They can live like we do. But we've accepted certain things into the churches, whether it's homosexuality, where it's people living like the devil and then getting up in the pulpit singing, I love Jesus. Amen. I've made my mistakes, but I've got mine right. Amen. I've got my record right today. Amen. As Brother Steve talking about a while ago, some people will put you down. I don't care how good you live. I don't care how good you walk with God. Ain't going to be somebody not like it, Daddy. Amen. It makes the devil mad when you serve the Lord. Amen. But God still loves you. God still holds you up high. Amen. Thank God it's good to be saved today. Amen. It's good to know that the Lord's on our side. Amen. I'd rather have the Lord on my side. Amen. Than this whole world saying we love you, son, and be out in that old world and God be ashamed of me. Amen. Lift your hands toward heaven and say, I choose God today. And I'm going to make my mind up. I ain't looking back. The Bible said, you know what Jesus said in one place? One of the short, shortest verses in the whole Bible, Doug. He said, remember Lot's wife? Think about that and I'll leave that with you. Don't look back. He said, think about Lot's wife. Remember Lot's wife. Remember Lot's wife. One of the shortest verses I can remember reading in the Bible. God, Jesus wept. Amen. Remember, look ahead. Don't look back. James said a man, a man that was unstable, was unstable in all of his ways. A double-minded man. He can't be double. You can't be today and then tomorrow and then today and then tomorrow. And un, a double-minded man, the Bible said, is unstable in all of his ways. He like the uh, wind of the wave that's been tossed to and fro by the sea and it's just tossed here and there it's never anchored it's never grounded it's never rooted it's just today I believe I'll serve the Lord and then tomorrow it's just too hard I, I'm having a hard time and today I love the Lord it's church let's go and tomorrow it's too hard I'm going to go over here and sing in the bar and I'm going to go out with my buddies out here and drink and party I, I will shame on you hey amen today I'm playing oh how I love Jesus and tomorrow I'm playing I'm on the highway to hell with ACDC I, I will shame on you if you're sitting in a church singing amazing grace today and tomorrow hey amen you're down there playing some honky tonk song, uh, amen, by your favorite honky-tonk singer, uh, oh, come on now, I'm telling you right, uh, amen, that ain't going to lift you up, uh, that ain't going to lift you up none, uh, it'll bring you down, uh, ain't no wonder so many people's down in a valley, uh, amen, it's bad, it's wet, it's getting worse, uh, amen, they ain't looking to God, uh, amen, the author and the finisher of our faith, uh, he begun a good work in you, uh, Paul said, I'm confident, uh, amen, he that's begun this good work, uh, he'll perform it 
that dug uh, unto that great day of the Lord. Uh, amen. He's coming back again. Uh, how will he find us? Uh, how will he find us ready? Uh, are you washed in the blood? Uh, amen. Of the Lamb. Uh, amen. Of yours robe. Uh, is it spotless? Uh, are you trusting uh, each moment? Uh, amen. In the crucified. Uh, amen. Thank God. Are you listening? Are you listening today? Are you listening to the Lord? He said, come follow me. I read about that young man that went away sorrowful, Doug. He said, go and sell all this stuff. And take up a cross and follow me. Following him meant being humble. When somebody slaps you, you turn the other cheek. When somebody's mean to you, you pray for them. I ain't saying it's easy. I'm saying that's what he told us to do. And sometimes I fail at that. And I have to ask the Lord, Doug, with a broken heart to forgive me. Say, Lord, I do love you and I want to follow you. And I failed you and I made a mistake. That don't make you lost today. It makes you human. But we ought to have a mind of Christ. The Bible said, let this also, the same mind that was in Christ be also in you. But also the mind of Christ be in you. What mind did he have, Doug? He loved people. He forgave people. He healed people. He never reviled again. Peter said when he was reviled, he reviled not. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. God's good, ain't he? Hey, Amen. Sometimes we just want to fight our battles, and the more we fight, the more we lose. Let me say to you today, let God fight your battles best you can. Sometimes our flesh, it's hard to keep under us. We gotta pray more then. We gotta read more. We gotta study. We gotta beg God. Sometimes we just gotta say, God, help me. Help me not do the things that's in me to do because there's, some, there's another man in that house, Doug. I hear people say, Oh, he ain't there no more. Oh, he's there. If you'll let him rule, he'll rule. He'll rule that house if you'll let him. If he wasn't in there, you couldn't backslide. You couldn't fail God. You wouldn't make another mistake if he wasn't in there because if you just did everything that God told you to do every time, you'd never fail. And you won't fail in God's way for us going to heaven because we've got an advocate with the Father. Amen. But we've got everything going and anything coming and everything going and coming. I thought the other day, Daddy, last Sunday seemed like the Lord blessed so good. Wasn't but a handful of people here. and I know some people were sick. We missed them all. But the Lord comes by where there's two or three. And I, I thought as I went home, Daddy, and I'll be quiet. i try my best. I went home, Doug, and I thought, Lord, I sure thank you for coming by. I sure thank you for coming by and not looking at the crowd or the building or the cars or the clothes. Hey, you just come by and bless because you see the hearts. I look around and I say, Lord, why don't Lord, more people want to feel this? Why don't more people want to come out and hear the word of God? They'll, they'll flock, Doug, to places that tell them a good thing and a good time and any other thing. They'll run and they'll flock to it. Maybe they'll have a big old singing and they'll go out and they'll have their big times. The concerts are full. But when the Word of God and the Bible's opened up, they start yawning. Come on now, it's the truth. People start to get a little too tired. The preacher's been a little too long. The Word of God's been a little too long. And I'm not talking about people that gets up telling fish tales and stories and they ain't in the Bible. They need to shut up, set their Bible to get down and go sit down. But when a man of God's up preaching and teaching and trying to save somebody from hell, we ought to lend ear to that because he's a man that's watching out for your soul. When they're singing them songs and they're being blessed, we ought not let what other body, what somebody maybe is looking around, dug the room. Well, if I lift my hands, they'll look at me funny. No, you lift your hands and you praise God because God sent his son and he let him go through a whole lot more than men you'll ever go through by lifting our hands or saying amen. Praise the Lord today. Make your mind up. Let's go. Let's get on the road for the Lord. Praise the Lord today. Don't let the devil come in and rob what you got. I've heard Daddy preach it many times. A thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. If he gets in, he'll say, that's what he's come to do. Make no mistake, the one that you know is a bad one, but you said, well, that's my friend. That's a good one. Don't give place to the devil. You be a light. We can be good to our friends and our family without being partakers in other man's evil deeds, as the Bible says. 
Amen. Our church don't have to open the door to everything and anything that goes on. We don't have to, Doug. We don't have to say, well, don't matter what we do or how you believe, you're welcome. You are welcome. But you got to get right with God. Sin ain't welcome. It's welcome in the altar. A lot of people, I'm going to say this, and I'll take it on the chin. I love all people. I love them all. <clears throat> but you got to get right with God, Doug. If we're going to be part of God's family and the singing and the preaching and the testifying, we need to get right with God. That may not go real well with everybody, but we need to get right with God. We need to be right with God, Daddy. I believe that. I believe we need to choose who we're going to serve. And God's got plenty for you to do. God's got plenty for you to do. But you need to make up your mind. Do you want God or do you just want the world? Are you hearing me today? Do you want God? Hallelujah. Or do you just want the world? Do you want a Savior? Or do you just want what you want? We need to make up our mind. God's got plenty of work. Way more work. You know what Jesus said? He said, the harvest is plenteous, but the labors are few. Hallelujah. While they sang, praise the Lord.